I'm starting with some tongue and groove lumber. It's an old piece. Here I'm cutting off the tongue and groove so it's a nice square piece and I'm also cutting it to its final size. Now I'm taking an old two by three and I'm measuring that out to the length that will match the width of uh, my other piece of wood. And then I'm cutting that to size. I'm gonna do that twice here. Now I'm just using a couple different grits of sandpaper just to clean up all my cut pieces of wood. Now I'm gluing and clamping one of what will essentially be a leg to this piece. I'm following that by drilling out a pilot hole. That'll be followed by uh, me boring out a larger hole that will receive the screw um, and keep it hidden and then driving the screw in. I repeated this process on the remaining three corners. Now that the basic construction is pretty much done, um, I'm taking a piece of dowel, rolling that in some glue, and I'm plugging each of the four holes that I, I drilled out earlier. Here I'm taking my belt sander just to grind down the remaining dowels and then I'll take my hand sander and get them smooth. I'm taking my OG Roman router bit and I'm putting a, an edge on the entire top here. Then I'm just hand sanding the entire piece, get rid of any burrs or, or uneven spots. I want this project to have a rustic look, so I'm using my dark walnut stain, followed by some hand sanding to distress the piece a little bit and then I'm gonna finish it with some spray lacquer. And here it is all finished with the iMac on top of it.